Hello, my name is Ben Shields, Senior Lecturer here at the MIT Sloan School of Management and Faculty Director of Data-Driven Teams, the Art and Science of Winning. In this video, I wanted to review the program's overall objective, our approach to achieving that objective, and the specific course design. After this video, I hope you'll have a better sense of the program and whether it's a good fit for you. Let's start with our overall objective. In this program, we are focused on the following. Help you build and manage your teams to win consistently over time. I should note that we define winning broadly. It can mean acquiring more customers, hitting revenue benchmarks, improving operational efficiency. These are just examples. Most teams are in pursuit of a common goal. We want to help you achieve your goal on a consistent basis. How will we achieve this objective? Well, we take a different and hopefully engaging approach to this program. We explore data-driven strategies used by high-performing teams in sports. Few industries give us better examples of teams winning intense competitions than sports. Not to mention, it's a fun vehicle for learning. We then translate and work with you to adapt these strategies to your context. Overall, we know improving the effectiveness of your team is an ongoing opportunity. Through this program, we hope to give you a different perspective and distinct tools to help your team improve. Based on our objective and approach, we have designed the program in three modules. Each module has five parts, reflection, framework, field insights from a guest speaker, application, and synthesis. The first module focuses on your team's talent. We begin with a reflection on the winning teams that you've been on in the past. We then introduce a framework for acquiring and developing winning talent. We hear from a guest speaker from the industry who will offer perspective on how sports teams acquire and develop talent. We will then turn to applying the framework and lessons from the guest speaker to your own context via a data workshop where we will help you measure your team's talent. We end the module with a wrap up of the key lessons learned. The second module focuses on your team's system how the talent works together to achieve the common goal. It has the same five-part structure as Module 1. The main differences are in the learning circles, in which we will have you reflect on your learnings from Module 1. Another key difference is the framework. In this module, we will introduce a framework on designing and implementing a winning system. The final key difference is in the application. In this module, our data workshop will help you measure your team's system. The third and final module focuses on your team's culture. It also has the same five-part structure with differences in framework and application. The framework will focus on building and sustaining a winning culture, while the data workshop will help you measure your team's culture. We will conclude with a synthesis of the program and a discussion on what you are doing to implement the new data-driven strategies and tools for team building and management that you worked on in the program. So I hope this provides a helpful overview of the program. We are excited about the learning experience that we have created, and we hope to see you there.